This tutorial is about transient stability and EMT simulations. The transient simulation functions are able to analyze the dynamic behavior of small systems and large power systems in the time domain. So the transient simulation functions make it possible to model complex systems like industrial networks and large transmission grids. A stability simulation in power factory can be selected by clicking on the change toolbox icon. If we click on calculate initial condition, you will see different simulation method. The first method, which is RMS value or electromechanical transients, can be used for mid-term and long-term transients under balanced and unbalanced network condition. In the instantaneous values or electromagnetic transients, short-term transient can be used. Since it is used for short-term transient, it is also possible to use for mid-term or electromechanical transients. This is one of the examples of Power Factory software that already contains the dynamic model definition of controllers of the generators. As you can see, all the composite and the controller dynamic definitions in this network model manager. If you click on this composite model, you will see all the list. By clicking on one of them, you will see all the elements. If you click on one of these elements, you can reach all the parameters. It is also possible to reach this information from single line diagram. As an example, if we double click on this generator, then by clicking on plan model, you will notice all the elements and also parameters. The process of performing a transient simulation includes the following steps. Calculation of initial values, including the load flow calculation, definition of result variable, definition of events, and execution of simulation. Let us do them one by one. First of all, perform load flow calculation. Then calculate initial condition. Suppose we are going to calculate RMS values as balanced positive sequence. In step size, we can specify the maximum and minimum step size. The step size adaptation enable the variable step size algorithm. In advanced options, there are different error margins, event control, integration control, iteration limits, damping factor, and other similar things. Noise generation defines parameters of the noise generation for accidental applications. The random number generators can be selected to be automatic by selecting option auto. This is the default value and the most commonly used. Okay, let us put them all in its default state and execute it. The next thing to do is defining the events. Right click on this transmission line. From define, click on short circuit events, click on object edit to make sure that the circuit at line is available. No need to bring any other change, put them as it is default value, click OK. Now we need to clear the events after a suitable interval, so we need to define another events on the same line. Right click on the same line, from define, click on switch events, and specify the time as 0 0.1 seconds. Make sure that the action is on open. Click OK. By clicking here, you can edit the events. The next thing that we need to do is defining the variable. 
let us define some couple of generators, lines, bus bars, and transformers. So hold down the control key and select them. Right click on one of your selected elements from define, click on results for RMS. Here you will see all the list of your selected elements. By clicking on each of these elements, you will see all the list of selected variables corresponding to the element. If you want, you can also add more variables. The final thing to do is start the simulation. Specify the time and click on execute. Then create simulation plot by double clicking here. Select your elements. Then select the corresponding variables. You have different variables to select. Here I am going to select the speed in per unit. Copy and paste the same variable for the rest of elements. And rescale it from the x axis and y axis. We can also plot different elements and variables, copy it and paste it, then double click it. and select different elements. Then select different variables corresponding to the elements. Thanks for watching.